and then i feel like because we're moving so quickly right like the talking stage is literally two weeks and then we're like talking about relationship and my man my man my man and oh you can't talk to no other dudes and you like we move so quick and then we start having these expectations of people and people are putting expectations on you and y'all are not even together y'all are not y'all haven't even talked about dating exclusively y'all haven't even communicated about what a relationship between the two of you would even look like and like we're just supposed to be talking we're just dating but we done skipped over the part where we're really supposed to be getting to know each other and taking it slow and seeing if we're even compatible we done skipped all of that and now we're having problems relationship problems and we're not in a relationship all right so before we get into the content man make sure y'all go subscribe to my patreon man a lot of exclusive content over there where i go deeper than over here on my youtube so if you want to see more from me make sure you go ahead and click that link in the description appreciate you i agree i agree with the woman's message i agree with her message we live in this fast food microwave society we want to rush into things we want everything to happen now we meet somebody we want to be exclusive within three weeks but don't understand on the back end the type of trouble that comes with that you got to understand that when you cheat the game the game is going to push back on you and what i mean by that is we, you have to take it slow with people because naturally you can't know a person over a month you can't know a person over two months you got to see people through multiple seasons and even then you really still don't know know somebody like my current best friend um we've been cool since we was in middle school as we got to know each other over the years we in our 30s and i feel like it's still new things that i learned about him so the thing is you're never gonna ever learn somebody fully anyway but at the same time rushing is also not a good idea this is why i preach vetting so much on this channel picking the wrong woman could destroy our life right but also picking the right woman could help you know multiply and and and, and, and you know just make our life hella good we also know that as well so when you're picking a asset it's just very important that we vet the woman we're around what does she like around her family what does she like when something goes left you know what i'm saying um what is her communication like are we able to communicate like grown-ups you know what i'm saying because a lot of times we just can't get past what's fat back there we we super quick to want to have scx and and again there's nothing wrong with that but a lot of times what you got to understand is you want to make sure this person is the right person for you you want to because a lot of times we got on a mask in the beginning that's everybody you putting on the perfect facade yeah you saying all the right things you acting all the right way but eventually people's real self comes at comes out over time you know like she said a lot of times when we find ourselves in relationship type of problems but we haven't even really got to know each other yet you know what i'm saying we haven't even really we haven't put the work in see when you don't lay that foundation the right way the house is gonna come crumbling down literally when you're making the house you lay down the foundation because without a strong foundation it won't last and that's the thing but again this is why as a man you need to have the ultimate belief in self instead of trying to feel like i always felt like man i have to prove myself and i gotta show i'm the one and not understanding as a man the man needs to be the one building the foundation i need to be the one seeing is she a right fit for me can she fit into my life is she nurturing is she feminine how does she take care of herself you know what i'm saying what are her ideologies you know what i'm saying what does she believe in does she want to have kids with me you know what i'm saying so these are different things that does she um is she an asset to me is she interested in what i have to say does she pay attention to detail those are the things that we need to be looking for in a woman see here's the thing man it's it's definitely a red flag when a woman is bringing up being exclusive early on like it's important to pay attention to these things because the progression needs to go a certain way 
we shouldn't be rushing in we shouldn't be moving in with each other after three weeks like none of this ridiculous stuff that you be hearing about what people do because that's only going to make the back end worse because when you don't really know somebody and you try you get involved with them super quick man that just leads to destruction it leads to destruction shout out to uh coach Corey wayne because he always talks about like going at a woman woman's pace you know and i know women's pace can sometimes be fast but meaning sometimes as men we be trying to rush things and the woman is not sold on you now you putting her in the masculine position because now she's trying to make sure she's now obviously a woman is going to make sure you're the right fit for her but what i'm saying is a lot of times us as men we're just so locked into how the woman looks she got some fat back there she looks super good we want to you know what i'm saying like, like we we want her but yet we're, we're rushing the process we're treating her like we don't we're not treating her like we treat everybody else we're putting her on a pedestal we're doing all these different things for her and she she's not even giving you no type of attention she's not making your life easy she's making it difficult she's putting obstacles in your way but you don't even realize that because you're so fascinated with her looks but also too man they won't tell you this like when you're dating you should have options this is why it's best to build yourself up so you can be able to attract as many options as possible you know what i'm saying so build yourself up and you can attract more so then you have more women to vet and you can go through people more quickly to get to the, the ones that do want you and do want to cooperate to your operation shout out to ron wills you know what i'm saying that's very very important you, you want a woman who is on your program, but at the same time, if a woman is, see a lot of times, man, we live in this society, man. I remember the, for the first time when I got love bombed, like maybe like, this was probably like five years ago. Because, and what love bombing is for those that don't know is when a woman or a man comes on super strong in the beginning. And I didn't even know I was getting love bombed until after the fact. See, a lot of times that's what's happening to a lot of us. We're getting love bombed early on and we think it's real, but it's not. You got to pay attention to these things. If somebody is giving you all these compliments and doing all these nice gestures for you in the beginning and you don't even know the person, man, that ain't real. That ain't real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm calling your bluff. You know what I'm saying? And again, this is why vetting and then even if you're a younger dude watching me watching my channel this is why it's important to date and to to get played to get manipulated to get gaslighted to get ghosted you have to go through these things because yeah it's one thing for me to talk to you about it but if you're not experiencing failure and learning from it if you're just stagnant and you're not dating nobody and you just feeling sorry for yourself you're never gonna get better you're never going to get better then you'll never be in a position to to vet like how i do because i probably spent 12 13 years of my life like just chasing women not understanding not learning from my mistakes feeling sorry for myself not knowing what my purpose was see i'm a, I'm a big sports guy um for any of my guys over here who watch basketball if you watch have watched chris paul before what i love about chris paul is he, you know, Chris Paul is a point guard, one of the best point guards of all time. And he is he does a very good job at controlling the pace. If you ever watch him, he controls the pace of the game. He slows it down. And and the whole point I'm trying to get to is that when you slow the game down, you're able to see the field. You're able to see what's going on and you have more control. So when it comes to dating, you want to slow things down. So you're able to see what's going on. Let me see how she's showing up. What are her actions like? The same thing in sports. Because a lot of times, what a lot of people say when they first go pro is when they come into the game, they be like, man, it was so fast paced. The game is so fast, but what they say is over the years, the game slows down. And that's the same thing it is with dating. Like for so many years, the game was so fast paced to me because I was trying to rush everything. I'm trying to see this person. I'm trying to make things happen and I'm not vetting and what I've learned now is it's very important 
yeah, it's nothing wrong with attracting a woman and being excited. You want to date her, like you want to be around her. There's nothing wrong with wanting somebody. But at the same time, you got to slow yourself down to see how she's showing up. What are her behaviors like? How does she treat herself? What does she like during her lows? What does she like during my lows? Chris Paul, slow the, slow the offense down so I can see the court. So I can see what's going on. So I can see who's trying to, you know what I'm saying? Maybe trying to be on the blind side and trying to catch me slipping. Like, you got to be able to slow yourself down so you can see these things. Very important. Very important. But guys, I'm going to wrap it up right there, man. And again, I appreciate you guys for coming over to the channel as always. And guys, make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm gone.